Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. Now, you guys, uh, a couple weeks ago, we got to go down to the F3 event in Georgia. Amazing event. Yeah. A lot of amazing people. And you got to hang out with some some guys who I might call FPV gurus. Yeah, they are the masters of freestyle. Yeah. And there's a lot of them there, and they're all incredibly friendly and very helpful. Uh, we have Schizo and Steel Sharpoo and Sharpoo. Yeah, a lot um, of cool guys. Chad, yeah, lots of really great guys. <laughs> One thing we noticed was when we got together, uh, we do a lot of flying through our GoPro, yeah. FPV. We, and we they transmit don't. the signal. They do not do that. Right. And when you're flying and chasing after airplanes and flying out in the open, no big deal. A little bit of lag is not that big of a deal. Well, they got their hands on my Versacopter flying through the GoPro, FPV signal wise. And they freaked out. Check it out. Now, you're used to like the high resolution of a GoPro and everything yeah. like that when, when you're flying. Composition. Yeah, but these guys like, they, they move a lot faster, a lot more intricate moves, so that lag was really like... Oh, it was driving them nuts. As a matter of fact, they were keeping it very simple. Normally, they'd be going through tree branches, flipping while they're passing through. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, they were just kind of walking the dog. Yeah. They were they were going up and down the hills, around the trees. They were still... Very granted, cautiously. Cautiously, <laughs> yeah. They were still flying way better than I would. But uh, compared to where they normally are, it was amazingly different. <laughs> I must exploded the GoPro. I did. Coming <laughs> <laughs> back in. <laughs> Obviously, my, my Versacopter is dialed way down for smoothness and everything, too. That affected them, but the biggest thing was the lag. <laughs> how do you uh, how do you arm this I thing? Y'all are all right. Fit standard. Oh, I got it delayed. I told you. You have to predict the future. Predicting the future. <laughs> it's a pretty bad video. Are people taking gogglies around me? <laughs> I feel like no, these just people. From the. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Nobody breathe. Nobody breathe. And the latency is outrageous. So they use like onboard cameras that maybe sacrifice the uh, resolution a little bit, yeah, uh, but really make up for it in the fact that there's no lag. And resolution really isn't one of their priorities. Getting the lowest latency possible through their board camera and also their control link is their top priority. They're always finding different ways to do that. Um, I immediately thought they'd be going for like 800 TV line cameras. Mm -hmm. No, they're all flying about 650 TV line, which right. is not the highest TV line or highest resolution you can get out of a board camera nowadays. Mm -hmm. But the reason is, is they could feel that latency difference between just six. 50 and 800. Now they still might have a GoPro on there to oh, capture yeah. footage, but they're not flying through the GoPro. They're exactly. The, uh, the onboard camera. The GoPro is strictly there to capture the experience and record the experience. They also uh, record their experience through their Fat Shark goggles through a little DVR okay. on the new versions. Cool.
grab both Schizo and Steel, went through the paces with the Versacopter. Schizo really thought it'd be beneficial if I tried to experience one of their machines where it was tuned in, dialed in, mm -hmm. but also didn't have the latency that the GoPro would transmit. Yeah. And there, there's virtually no delay in reaction time, both in control link and video. <laughs> you know what I think the GoPro now? So, Never. So apparently all this time it's like, ah, oh, it's fine go through GoPros. Maybe if you're chasing a big plane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need a board camera. Yeah. And what else? That's bus. Yes. Well, I mean, it's you got PPM too, but. PPM would be fine. The board this, cam, I think, is the significant difference yeah, the board right cam. now. But it's also a heavier setup too, so it's like it's like steer, steering a bowling ball around yeah. and having Through flying in a place like this, it's like driving a battleship. Like. Yeah. So now Schizo's gonna let me fly his. And yeah. what is that, Luminaire 210? 210. Yes, it is. What's the current bet on how long he's gonna stay flying? He'll do good. I say 15 seconds. 15 seconds? Oh, I got faith in you. I'll say I got, I got 30. You. 30. <laughs> 30 seconds. Alright, I'm just gonna around, hover though. for 29 seconds and just go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's armed right now, so just go to the neutral point with this switch, it's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Yeah. And I'm going to stand next to you in case you crash. Hang on a second. Hey, hey, hold on. He's, oh, yeah, yeah. He's got the wrong polarization on Oh, hang on. I got him. I got him. Get off. Take it off. Oh, yeah. is that what's going on? Okay. Pick crew. Pick crew. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay, cool. I got you. Ah! It's a bug, isn't it? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Not, yeah. The yeah. Kinda... All right, I'm ready. Best designer kit. All right, he's ready. <laughs> Wait, I don't know the what? Best, best you ready? <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. All right, the props are spinning. You're ready to get a paddle. <laughs> yeah! Now you can see that it's a little responsive, right? Oh, yeah. Look at you. You're killing it. Hard. Yeah, you're killing it. Getting him hard. Dude, this oh, yeah. is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it does what you say. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's... No, don't do it. <laughs> oh! 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 Three seconds. <laughs> you got eight seconds left. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It took about maybe a few seconds to get used to the controls. I mean, it was very, very touchy, very powerful. Mm -hmm. But the second we started flying through, you could instantly feel that your your eyes were seeing exactly what you're controlling. That's cool. Also, the ability to uh, to be able to navigate through tight areas. Uh, I found myself doing things I would never try before just because I thought my reaction time was too slow. Cool. When really, it was just the video link. Yeah. and it gave you total freedom to go faster, push things harder. Go into a tree. Go into a tree at the very end, yep. Now you know the difference we're talking about with latency. Oh, that was awesome. I don't care, you Johnson. I think you might be in this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was, I broke a prop. That's the only time you broke a prop. <laughs> that was awesome. Now with flying fixed wing, you know, FPV, flying on the Explorer, things like that. Yeah. GoPros, mm -hmm. Mobius, says they're fun. You're not gonna hit anything while you're flying through the air. Right. But when you're cutting through the woods and you're flying 50 miles an hour and there's things whizzing by you just inches away, every millisecond counts. And I never appreciated that until I got to fly Schizo's machine. Now there's a lot of different camera options out there though too. Yeah. I think I'm holding some. You're holding a lot of them here. Okay. Uh, these are actually three cameras that we actually use and I've been testing out quite regularly. This is a 650 TV line, this is an 800 TV line, and this is a 600 TV line. And you can see the sizes, the, the weights, they're all this very different. Heavy. That's a steel case one. You have to decase that if you really want to save on weight. But there's other things to consider too, like power. Yeah. So does a different power source affect the uh, performance? Well, not so much different power sources, but different power sources can blow these things up. Oh. Uh, every camera, you gotta check out your specs on there. Um, this one here, if I plug the four cell into it, it'd blow up because it can only go up to 12. Cool. This one can only go up to 12. Some cameras can only go up to five. You really gotta read the specs on it. Now one thing I like about the 650 uh, line, this can go all the way past four cell. Okay. So that's a very nice feature about that. You can plug anything you want, it'll automatically regulate to it. Now if you are flying a camera that say that takes 12 volt operation, mm -hmm. but you're flying a four cell setup, you need to do something like step it down. Use a stepping regulator, um, a Palulu circuit. Palulu. Oh, what? Say what? Palulu circuit. Palulu. 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 You're gonna have to regulate that voltage down so it constantly gets a 12 volt source. Okay. Um, if you don't do that and you plug in the wrong battery, you're gonna be in trouble. So say you're flying three cell and one day you decide to plug in four, if you don't have your, your camera regulated, 
it's gonna blow it up. Okay, so basically what you're saying is that you wanna make sure that you get a camera that's gonna work well with the voltage that you're using for it. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you want one that is gonna work well with your aircraft. Like, for example, you don't want a big heavy thing like this on a small aircraft. Correct, you wouldn't wanna fly a 210 size uh, quadcopter on a big steel cased uh, camera. Okay, and you wanna consider what uh, resolution you want as well. Yeah. The higher resolution would be more lag. More lag, Okay. yep. And you know what, we may not feel that, but when you guys have, you have people like uh, Schizo and Steel and Phil Frycook and all those great people, right? you're gonna, they're, they're gonna feel that. Yeah. And it's really great that they're sharing this knowledge so we can actually move forward and grow quicker. One thing I found amazing is if you have the right setup, the experience is amazing. Cool. We want to thank you guys for watching and if you want to see any more extreme FPV flying from some of these guys, check out Chad Capper's new YouTube channel, Rotor Riot. See you next time. It's a hypo tree. You have a hypo looking. What are you putting on there? Got a little wide angle action. Wow. Wide angle.